Hey! <laughs> what happened? Last time we made a video we were in the Hilton. We had all these grand plans. We had a very disappointing game of Age of Fantasy Quest. Which may or may not get edited. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is what happens to me. I just get bad luck. Every time I'm on holidays, I get sick. And, uh, unfortunately, that's what happened. I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, Mother Nuggets. Oh, Chief Security Officer is coming to check on me. Uh, yeah, you can see my bags are still there from where I haven't unpacked properly. Uh, my little boy cleaned up the room, though, so it's, I mean, it's on its way. <laughs> Some good things happen. Anyway, you don't care about my disgusting gaming room. Uh, all you really care about is the game, I guess, so that's what we're here for. Um, yeah. So anyway, long story short, the, the Hilton was a bust. I didn't get to enjoy it. I spent the whole time throwing up and vomiting. I didn't even get to go to the conference I was there for. Uh, you know, what, what can you do? <laughs> Oi! Uh, everyone has been putting lots of lovely comments on all my videos. I really appreciate that. There was uh, one toxic comment that I had to delete. But otherwise, uh, you know, I, I dig it. Thanks for being so supportive and, and commenting on all my stuff. I'm really surprised that me rambling about D&D got as many views as it did, and I'm really surprised these games are getting such positive traction. So, without further ado, let's play some more games, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're going to continue on. Our, go our dwarves have kind of obliterated the goblins in the swamps, but now they're in the swamps. So, what are they going to find in the swamps? Uh, and that's, that's what's going to happen here. It's another 150-point battle. I do have some 250-point battles coming up. Um, again, I'm conscious of not letting scope creep ruin my motivation um so we've got that there i also am planning to do some old world i've got these the can you see them the 10 millimeters 10 millimeters the tiny little ones figures uh so i was gonna try some old world we can also do regiments with those um let me know what you'd prefer would you prefer regiments or old world i'm guessing all the opr fans are gonna want regiments but uh yeah that's that's the plan Anyway, so, uh, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, I really appreciate it, it really makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, so I appreciate that, thank you. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's make some videos. The dwarves of Shieldvale, having defeated the goblin raiders, soon lose their way in the swamps of blood. The treacherous terrain betrays them at every turn. Ancient ruins of civilizations long predating the god wars rise into phantasmal cities and it is not long before the Runeseer must admit defeat. He knows his only hope is to find enough mana shard to amplify his magic enough to teleport his warband home. Unfortunately, the owners of such artifacts in these parts are the vicious Ratkin. Territorial and violent, the Ratkin of the Crypts will fight to any end to defend their ruins. Once alerted, it won't be long before a horde of reinforcements are on the dwarves. If captured, they will become the victim of the Dark Monk's cruel experiments. Alright, it is the dwarves that we know and love. Uh, same army as before, 150 points. Dwarf Champion, 65 points. Quality 3, Defense 4, Tough 3, Fearless Hero Slow, Tough 3, Hand Weapon. Uh, it's a heavy hand weapon, A3, AP1. He's got the Rune Lord ability, which gives him Caster 2. Uh, and he is, has the spells. We did the same spells last time. Um, I don't know. Do we get to choose spells? Or is it like um, Old World where you randomly generate them? If you know, let me know. Uh, but he's the same as last time. As we've said before, he kind of breaks the rules technically for a 150 point game. Um, but, you know, whatever. We'll go with that. Two Marksmen. They are separate activations. They're the guys in green. They are slow, quality 4, defense 5, hand weapon A1, and rifle 18 inches A1, AP1. Miners, also separate activations. There's two of them, quality 4, defense 5, ambush and slow, explosive 12 inch A1, AP1, and pick A1, AP1. And then finally, the warriors are a group activation. And they are... Uh, there's three of them, quality four, defense five, shield wall, which we've found to be very useful in the past, uh, slow, and three hand weapons, uh, A1, so each have a hand weapon A1. That is the dwarf army, and they are facing off against the monsters they found. Alright, we have a new army coming into play, my brand new rat men, 
Uh, Ratman, Skavens, we've got the Battlemaster. Bring him up the front here. Uh, oh, that's not very in focus, is it? <laughs> uh, oop, can I make him focus? Not really. Battlemaster, he's 70 points. He's uh, 4 plus quality, 4 plus defense, tough 3. He also has a heavy great weapon, A3 attacks, and they are AP3. Is that is that right? That doesn't feel right, AP3. That feels like if it's meant to be a heavy great weapon, isn't that the same thing? Oh no, it's a heavy great weapon, so it is AP3. Holy heck! That, that Warpstone Spear is going to be penetrating some Dwarf Booty. That's insane, AP3. Holy heck, we might have found a new army that's going ahead. <laughs> this guy. Uh, he's also a Warlock, uh, but his Warlock gives him Artificer. And Artificer is the model, and up to three friendly units that are within 12 inch at the beginning of the round get AP plus one in melee. This effect lasts until the end of the round. Do we know if that's already included or not? I don't think it is, because that gives him AP4. That is disgusting. Oh, damn. <laughs> he is a strong boy. This little rat, he's going to chew through your ribcage like a beast. So that's the Battlemaster, the, the leader of the rats, the Artificer. Um, over here, we have... Uh, they are Storm Veterans in the red. Uh, similar to the Battlemaster. They've got the red colouring. They are quality 4, defence 4. Uh, and they have heavy halberds. They're meant to have halberds. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, which are A1, AP1 rending. So they'll be AP2 if they're within 12 of him. That's absolutely brutal. They are fearless. Which means uh, whenever a unit where most models have this rule fails a morale test, roll one die on a 4+, plus, it counts as passed instead. Now, well, they have quality 4, so, you know... <laughs> but uh, I guess things that interact with that is going to be a problem. Now I believe they are uh, all of the uh, they are all group activations in this army as well, so they have to stick together. So they don't have a lot of activations, but they are all there, storm veterans, and they're rending as well. Rending uh, ignores regeneration and unmodified results of six uh, to hit get AP four AP four. Man, this army is just all AP4. That is insane. Uh, so that's the Storm Veterans. The green guys here with the shields are Warriors. There's three of them in a group activation. They are quality 5, defense 5. They have three spears. They have A1. And then they also have the special ability counter. Strikes first when this weapon with this weapon when charged. And the charging unit gets minus 1 to impact rolls per model with counter. So that's good. And then, finally, we have these guys in green, which are... They are... Ooh, can I focus on him a bit? Maybe angle him better? <laughs> it's hard to get the angle right. Focus. There we go. These guys are monks with their, with their toxic bombs there. Uh, they're meant to have sensor flails. Whoops. No whizzy wig on this channel. Uh, they are furious. Uh, furious means they, when charging, unmodified rolls of six in melee deal one extra hit. Only the original hit counts as a six for special rules. And they have uh, three sense of flails, their quality five, defense five, attack one, AP one, and poison. Ignores regeneration. The target must re-roll unmodified defense rolls of six when blocking hits. Now, it's also put regeneration on here, but I don't think... No one has regeneration, so I don't know why it has that. Maybe because it's making a reference to it, so that you know what regeneration does. Uh, but there you go. Ignores regeneration. The re-roll unmodified defense rolls of six when blocking hits. Re-roll unmodified... So if they get a six, they have to re-roll it is how I'm going to read that. If that's the wrong interpretation of that, let me know. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That's there's three of them in a group activation as well. So we've got three groups of three, or two groups of three and a hero, I should say. Uh, and yeah, this is this is our swampy, swampy battlefield uh, where the rat men live on their home turf. So that's our new army. Now, if you've been doing the maths on that, they are 20 points more 
which is unfortunate. Like, I guess I probably could have got rid of the monks and just been five points over, but uh, we'll see how we go. If it's too brutal with all that AP, maybe we'll tone some things down. But, um, yeah, we'll have a look. All right, let's, uh, let's get on with the deployment and thing. All right, so here we have our new battlefield. As you can see, lots more terrain. This is going to hinder those slow dwarves a little bit, just because I'm kind of sick of them always winning, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> the, the, the tables are stacked against them today, so if they win, we know they really are the better people. Now, I have new objective markers. Ooh, look at them. Aren't they pretty? Look at that. I made them. I'm so stoked about it. Uh, they're like actual crystals. They turned out really nice. Went to my witchy shop. Uh, I think it's called... No, it's not Tree of Life. What is it? Forest of Wisdom in, in Picton. If you're local to Picton, Forest of Wisdom. They're, they're the winners, in my opinion. Uh, they always get lots of cool stuff from there. They look after my wife real nice, which is good. So, uh, yeah, this is our... Um, you know, we get our scented, scented candles and incense and things from there to make the house not smell like farts. But, you know what does smell like farts? This swamp. So, let's talk quickly. We need some objectives. Uh, we got, it's D3. Mm, that's only going to give me two. I don't like that. Give me, oh, okay. More than two. It's meant to be D3 plus one. I didn't want two because two's not enough. Uh, but that's going to give us three. I think three is okay. Three or four is fine. Uh, we'll put, I, I like having an odd number, whether it's one, three, five. I like having that odd number just because it kind of gives you a bit of a, um, you know what I mean? Like, it, it makes it, makes it, easy. there's no ties, <laughs> is what I'm saying. I'm going to put one of them here, uh, in this rough terrain. We're going to talk about what all the terrain is in a minute. Um, you know what? There's three. We actually have three buildings. So why don't we make it that? We're just going to make it. Oh no, I dropped the marksman guy. Hang on. There we go. We're just going to make it three buildings, uh, is the way we're going to go with this, I think. Um... There you go. They're going to be our objectives. That that makes a lot of sense to me. Hopefully it makes sense to you as well. So we've got um, got our three objectives there. The rats kind of already control two. The uh, other guys control one. Uh, th what are these objectives? I guess they're kind of the mana shards that we were looking at before, but maybe using these mana shard energy, the, the, the spellcaster is able to... Um, you know, teleport these guys home. He needs a bit more mana to get there. Uh, and so maybe that is that is what he's going to do. I think that's pretty good. Now, we've got 12 centimeters on each side. Um, so the we, we've kind of set up our deployment here already. Uh, we've got one marksman. Oh, my gosh. This is not really giving us the angle we want, is it? We have got one marksman and three warriors and the king. Kind of just ready to charge in. We've got one marksman over here. He's trying to make a break for this position. I think their plan is to kind of leapfrog. On the other side, we've got these warriors who are planning to kind of come around here and flank originally. But um, now that that marksman's there, you know, jobs are a bit different. It's very dark over this side. I don't know why it's so dark. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and then we've got our... our Storm Vermin in the middle, and our Plague Monks in the middle, ready to charge up. Let's talk about terrain. So, uh, we've got the swamps. The swamps are impassable, but you can shoot over them. Uh, we've got the, the rough going, these rocky things. They are going to slow you down. We could make them dangerous, but um, I think we're just going to go slow you down. We've got the bushes. The bushes are going to provide cover. The, this lichen, which I love lichen. It's such a weird thing. I remember when I first bought it and I touched it. And I was like, ew, that's gross. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, and vertical buildings, um, which we can kind of, you know, see things better from. Ooh, if I actually get them in the shot. Uh, you know, they give us some elevation. They give us cover. Um, you know, they're going to block line of sight. Uh, and that's where we're going to put our... That's where we're going to put all of our, our uh, markers. So, uh, without further... Oh, there's also these hilly bits. If you see a hilly bit, it's just elevated. You can climb up there. Just slows your movement to climb up. Pretty straightforward. Uh, let's roll off for turn one. The black will be the uh, 
black's going to be the rats. And we got a one and a four, so the rats are going to go first. Right. Turn one. Okay, I've taken it off the tripod because the tripod's giving me too high an angle. I've also taken the lens off because it's too dark, but uh, it's still pretty dark in here. It's a very gloomy day. We're going to have a bit of shaky cam today, but here we go. Uh, I forgot to mention the Dwarven Miners. They're underlit. They look pretty spooky. Uh, <laughs> they are... They, they are yet to be deployed. So, uh, rats, turn one. Turn one. What are they going to do? I think we're going to start with an activation of these clan rats. They are going to move there. They're going to, like, rush. Is it advance? Advance rush? I can never remember the correct terminology. They're just going to claim this objective for the rats. Woo, rats. Uh, and kind of also the building quite a bit. Uh, and the dwarves. I think I need to put the lens back on. <laughs> it's not working out. <laughs> I can't see anything. The dwarves. Hmm. Let's have a look. While I put the lens on, what can the dwarves do? Ooh, did that trip you out? Oh, that's very blurry. There we go. The dwarves. Um, yeah. What have we got going on here? Um, if I was a dwarf, what would I do? If you were a player, what would you do if you were the dwarves? Let's turn that light off. Um, yes, the dwarves. I think... The best option for them is to just charge these guys up. Oh, you know what? We're going to activate. Ha-ha! We are going to activate the king. All right, the king of the dwarves is going to cast a spell, or try to cast a spell. He has two magic points. So let's give him a two for his magic points. He has two magic points, which he's going to spend. Which one is the running rune? Do we have enough? Oh no, you need three. Oh no, you can do it for two. Target four friendly units within 12 inches. Ooh, okay, are they within 12? Are they within 12? Yes, they are. They certainly are. Oops. Oops, I pressed the stop record button. They are within 12 centimeters. Slash inches measuring units. So we're going to spend his two caster points, and he is going to attempt to roll for battle rune. Four friendly target units within twelve inches get plus two next time they advance, or plus four if they rush or charge. We're going to give it to this guy as well. He's within as well, and that'll be four. So he won't give it to himself, but those three and this guy will get it. He needs to get four plus. Is that right? Uh, caster, four plus to resolve the effect. So here we go. <gasps> it fails. He does not get four plus. He didn't have anything to spend. So that's his turn. He activates. I guess he can still move up himself, which we'll do. Uh, so we're measuring from the back here. So it looks like we're cheating, but we're actually not. He'll move his, he'll move his eight up there. Instead of measuring from the center, we measured from the back. Naughty, naughty. But he's going to sort of charge up, maybe get ready. We might actually move him up a little bit so we can kind of bypass that that slow business. Uh, there we go. So that's his activation. We've got some rats over here. What are we going to do with the rats? Um, I think we go for moving the plague monks up a bit. Again, there's, this is an entirely melee army by the looks of it, so this could be a downfall for them. But we will rush them up, and they get the full, they get the full twelve. Rush them up. So he's gonna rush that way. Oh, we should have got him to climb the wall, but that's. I think they're going on a defensive sort of charge here. Yeah, that looks a bit better. 
My colors are all wonky on this camera. I don't know what's going on. I thought it was the lens, but when I took the lens off, it's still not great. <laughs> it's the camera. That's okay. Maybe my paint jobs are just not as cool as they actually look in person. In my mind, anyway. All right, so the, the monks have activated. Uh, the, these slow-ass dwarves are going to wriggle their way across. Yeah, so... Okay, let's think about this. The dwarves need to capture two out of three of this to win so they can have enough magic to get home. So they definitely need to defend this this one. They got to defend it. So, but they also need to capture at least one, right? If they want to win. So they kind of have to be a bit more aggressive. Um... They only get four turns. I think their best bet is to go for this one rather than that one. That one feels a bit, like, too sunken in their territory because they're slow. It'd be different if they had that speed, you know? That's unfortunate that we missed that speed. Yeah, okay, I think they have to be more aggressive than I kind of want to be. They're going to try and snake through here. Oh, man, that terrain. They can only just make it, but they have to go single file. So that's going to change how they end up on the other side. And they only get eight for their charge. So they're actually going to get stuck halfway between... Oh, see, they only just make it. And they're, like, just in. <laughs> they're just in. Uh, they don't need to worry about cover. The cover is actually more of a hindrance to them than it is a help because there's no ranged on the other team. So... That's what they're going to do. Um, so that's their activation. And then, I guess, yeah, why would you not just charge up, eh? <laughs> uh, they can completely ignore that. So they're going to get to the end of there. So he's going to... Whoops, sorry, he couldn't see a single thing. I'll put it on the other camera. There we go. He's going to charge up there and advance. Just really making this these rats are really making a, a bold a bold statement. You know what I mean? They are they're doing they're doing a bold um bold defense of their homeland. Uh and, and really getting getting into everything. <laughs> really getting getting into their defensive positions here. Um, yeah, okay. So that's his activation. Who's left? We've got a marksman. Ooh, the marksman is going to shoot. He should be facing the other way. The only reason he's facing the wrong way is because I, um, I rolled a... I, I, like, bumped the table when I put the objective marker there and I had to put him back on. Ooh, look at that. That's a good... He's got a good shot there, eh? All right. So, he is going to shoot at... This guy, if he can reach it, let's have a look at his range. Let's go put the camera down for one second while I measure. Oh, he's out of range. He is out of range, so he can't shoot. Can he shoot the other one? Oh, he's out of range there too. Okay, so he is just out of range of these guys. So he might move. Let's move this out of the way a little bit. He's going to move up there. And then hopefully, that's going to give him a... There we go. Now he's in range of the Plague Monks. So he's he's done a little move. He's done his little move. He's going to shoot down at him. Yeah, that's what we want, I think. That's pretty good. All right. So he is... <gasps> On the sheet that's under the other one. <laughs> he is quality four. Quality four. He's got one shot. It's AP one. So we need four or better. He gets a four. It's a hit on the monk. And the monk gets a defense. The monk's defense is five plus. Same as the goblins. Okay, so he's pretty squishy. <gasps> It's a four. It's not enough. That monk takes a wound. That wound is enough to get rid of him. Yep. No regeneration or anything. No. Nah. The monk is gone. 
R.I.P. Monk. Very valiant shot there from the Dwarf. Outstanding. Uh, the only rat unit left to activate is these Mushkas, and they're just going to follow their leader because they want to be in that radius to get that um, that bonus, right? They want to be within that 12 or whatever it is to get those AP. So there we go. Look at that. You can't see that because it's so dark. <laughs> there we go. Oh man, this camera, it's really high. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Hopefully the quality's not so terrible you don't like watching the video. <laughs> Shining bright lights everywhere. You can't see it even if I use the B cam. Uh, and then all that's left for the dwarves is their miner. who He's going to charge up the eight, as discussed previously, and that's going to put him there. All right. Oh, you should have moved and shot. Actually, I retract that. We haven't concluded that yet. He's going to move there because he looks like he can see the Rat King. I think he can see the Rat King. Is he within 18? He is within 18. Um, this, I'm going to say he gets cover for that. Um, just because that's like a, um, you know, that's a bit of a... <laughs> a bonus, right? So he'll have a bonus one to hit. Uh, this guy, he's going to shoot quality four, we said. He doesn't hit anyway, so there you go. Um, that's that's the turn. So the rats have one. The dwarves have one. This one is kind of unclaimed, but on rat territory. So I'll, I'm happy to say the rats kind of claim that one. Uh, at this state of play... So, we might put a, just so we, uh, you know, know. <laughs> There's no space to put them. Uh, we'll put, I'll put it over here. So, dwarves one, rats two. That's our, that's our turn count for now. Maybe I'll put it up here. Hang on, I'll put it there where there's a bit more space. <laughs> dwarves one, rats two. There you go, look at that. We're on to turn two. Turn two! I've actually moved it down so it's uh, seeable on the other camera. <laughs> so, a bit of train moving there, but I'm pretty confident that part was never going to get... Never going to get counted. Uh, the priest gets another two. And um, he is going to, on his turn, try and activate and cast that same spell, I think. But it's not his turn yet, because the rats finished first, they have to activate first. Ooh, hello, hello. What is this? The Rat King is going to charge on his activation. He's going to take it to the king. How dare you come into my land, you filthy dwarf. Uh, you can eat my butt. Uh, there you go. Oh, it's so bright. What if I do that? Is that better? That's a bit better. Just can't can't seem to get things to work for me, guys. <laughs> oh no, it's fallen over. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, so the the Rat King. Shaky Cam Galore. I apologize. Turn two starts off strong with the Rat King taking it to the Dwarf King. The Battle Master. The Artificer is. 4 plus quality to attack. He gets 3 attacks and his weapons are AP 3. Ooh, that's going to hurt the dwarf because that's going to make his defense like 6. Plus he's got his aura, right? Artificer. It's model and up to 3 friendly units that are 12 inches at the beginning of the round. So these guys over here were there at the beginning of the round. So they will also get it. Will these guys get it actually? That's a good question. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> two out of three of these guys will also get it. Uh, and they were not. <laughs> so, that's good to know. Oh, is it up to four models? What is it? Three friendly units. Oh, technically a unit is all of them because they're like group activation. But we've been playing like each dude is a unit. So we'll say these, the, the three storm vermin will also... The three storm vermin will also have his... Um, his Artificer bonus. So he's got AP 4, technically. Oof. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. 
So there's the dwarf can't officially defend that, I guess. Uh, technically speaking, but let's see if we hit first. Step one, see if we hit. Man, that fisheye lens is not looking great, but what are you going to do? What happens if I take it off? Oi, not great either. See, I get less... It's less quality with that, I guess. But anyway. Alright, so he needs... He's got quality 4. We need 4+. plus. Here we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Welcome to the RJ channel where the team I want to win is destined to lose. <laughs> Screw these stinky dwarves. Uh, one hits, though. It is AP3. So, uh, the, the, the king has... Now, that's a good question. So, he would normally have 4+. plus. So if we just count this out, right? So 4 plus, 5 plus, 6 plus, blank. So does he not get a defense? How does that work uh, if AP reduces the model? I guess he just doesn't get a defense, right? He just takes a wound? Surely. That's a really interesting one. Uh, if you know the answer, please let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, I am going to quickly pause the video and look that up one eternity later okay i looked up a six always counts as a success so he can save on a six that's not a six he takes a wound so the black is his spells uh this is his wounds now he has three so we'll put his down to two wounds left i'm gonna tick him down uh yeah so then he didn't succeed, so he moves back. Oh, he, the king can fight back, which I think he will. Uh, the king has quality 3 plus, and he has 3 attacks, same as, same as the other one, and his AP is 1. Here we go, 3 attacks, 3 plus. Oh, look at that, 2 hits. Okay, the rat king would normally have defense 4. He has defense 5 because of... Uh, the AP1, he takes one, and there you go, look at that, it's equal! He'd normally have toughness 3, so he also only has 2 wins left now. So, there you go. Look at that! Uh, a pretty even fight going on there. So that's his turn activation. The king is going to spend those points, try and cast that spell again. He needs a 4+. plus. It's a six! Alright, so, all these dwarves, they're all still within 12, right? Yes, yes they are. Within 12. Within 12. Oh yeah, baby! Alright, so, they are, um, they now get a bonus four to their run. So they have normal, normal movement now. So he's happy with that. If he attacks again to this king... He is going to be rolling on sixes, and so is the king. So you know what? he's gonna he's gonna go in and uh, charge the king as well, and give it a go. Okay, so he gets three attacks on six. He came out pretty good in that one. Oh, well, so he attacks on sixes, no hits. The king attacks back on sixes because he's fatigued. He gets one hit. AP three, so he needs a six to defend. Oh, are you kidding me? These dwarves. Dwarves are a nightmare. Dwarves are a pest. A plague on all dwarves' houses. Uh, and the charger moves back an inch. There you go. He gets moved back. No wounds dealt. No wounds received. That is the end of the dwarf activation. So the king's moved. The dwarves moved. The dwarf king's moved. Now we're down to some plebs. What are these guys going to do? Hmm... What would you do if you were them? They really... Now, these red guys, they um, are not really in shot. They <laughs> are going to be concerned about these red dwarves. Okay, I need to put the lens back on. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to make it so it's as visually appealing as possible. But I think we need the fisheye lens. So these, uh, these red guys... They need to... I think they have to wait. If they activate now, those dwarves are going to be... 
not good. Also, them waiting means they're out of range of the sniper up here. And there's kind of some blocking between them and him. So, we should be okay with that. Man, I'm sucking that this day is so gloomy. I might film the next one outside. <laughs> Get a bit of sunlight on these minis. So you can see they're actually not terribly painted. Um, yeah. So I think we go with these guys just as sacrificial lambs. You know? Can't really... There you go. Get good lighting on them, but there you go. These guys might wriggle up. Now, they don't have any ranged weapons again. This is, you know, they're, they're going for defense. Strong defense. So we might... Yeah, we'll move them around here. So he's going to wriggle around to there. Hopefully stay. He's going to wriggle around to there. Just really be defensive, defensively lining up this. Now, technically, he should be, like, here, right? But there's a big, big gaping gap. So uh, I can balance him there, but I'm worried if I do that, he's going he's gonna to slip. So we'll, we'll put him there, all right? But technically, he's there for purposes of, <laughs> of where he actually is. Uh, though I'm sure he's probably going to get shot in a second. Um, but that's their, that's their maneuver, I think. The, the rats, yeah, they lucked out because we decided it was the buildings. And of course, they're going to defend the buildings. That makes perfect sense to me, I think. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if I was a rat, I'd defend my buildings too. Get them closer to the table. So, that's their activation. Let's do a dwarf. Oi, if I'm a dwarf, what do I do? That king is a big threat. Now, all of these guys have 12, remember? They all have bonus speed, so... Uh, he doesn't want to shoot and move, because if he moves and shoots... Hey, see, now this is... Oh, bang, my light fell down. This is a bit of a problem. Ah, oh, man. What are we doing? Um, they need to take this. So that's a waste of him to shoot and move, I guess. He can move the extra two, so he will get a six move. He will get a six move, which will put him there, which is pretty good. And he can, he, he might take some shots at these, these guys. Maybe he is going to shoot this guy here that's precariously hanging around. Uh, he has a four plus shooting. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do miners. That's okay. They can come up next time. Boom. Headshot. All right. My, mousy poos. My clan rats, he has a defense of five. And he, he soaks it with his shield. Boom, lucky. He got a six. Soaked it. Oy. Okay, so that's that dwarf's activation, I guess. Back to the rats. If I was a rat, what would I do? They really want to wait for those dwarves to move in so they can charge them. Do they? Oh, yeah, no, it's these guys. These guys want to be charged, right? So we we probably should have put them down, but there you go. We... Oh, man, if those dwarves go to the king, the rat king, they are definitely going to um, die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they don't have the ability to do that. Uh, plague monks. They do need to get close enough to deal with that. They are currently, I think, beyond the 18, yeah. So if, if they don't move forward, they are safe from that dwarf. He could only reach the one of them. So, I think the Plague Monks are going to activate and just chill where they are. That's their turn. They're just like, yeah, we will sit over here and chill out with our... Can I zoom in? Chill out with our brewskies. Cracking open a cold one with the boys. They're just going to chill. <laughs> that's their deal. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's their activation. That's a nice, easy activation for them to do. We're back to the dwarves. And the dwarves have a choice. Can he reach the king now? He can reach the king now. Okay, well, he's going to activate the shooty guy. And he's going to try and shoot the king. Four plus. A three plus is not a four plus, so... In all the battle, he's worried about shooting his own king. He doesn't doesn't make the shot. Which leaves now only the Storm Vermin. Oh, this has come back to bite them on the bum. The Storm Vermin have to activate now. Right? They don't have a choice. 
<gasps> they don't have a choice. There you go. Will that light them up? Probably not. So they have to activate... They can't really charge anyone, but they can come up and, I guess, continue the defense. They'll continue the defense. They can't charge, but they will move up, continue to defend this zone here. In fact, they are going to position themselves in a way that very much blocks it off so the dwarves can't get through. They're like, if you want to steal our, our, our warp stone... Baby, you got to come through us first, including the king. Which leaves us with an interesting question. If you're the dwarves, do you charge the storm vermin or do you charge the king? Again, I love these strategy type deals. I'm just going to move this out of the way so we can see them a bit better. Uh, you know, do you charge the storm vermin or do you charge the king? The storm vermin are hitting on 4 plus. The king will only be hitting on 6. But the king is just as deadly as the storm vermin. Eey, I don't know, man. That's tricky. I think the smart move for them is to focus fire the, the king. Which they will do, I guess. How does multiple dudes in combat work? I don't think I've done that before. Let me look it up. One eternity later. Alright, all models that are in a unit are in base contact with an enemy model from a target unit or are within two inches, or centimeters in this case, of a model from the target unit may attack it. Models we may strike with any and all of their melee weapons and only strike at models in the target unit. Alright, so they are all... I know it's hard to see, but they are all going to be within two centimeters of him. Or at least they'll move into a position where they are, is the plan. They're all going to dogpile the king. And the king likewise can strike back. They will go first. The warriors have four plus attack. There's no AP on their weapons. One hits the king. He has a defense of four plus, four plus. That's four plus, he saves it. All right, he gets to attack back though. Three attacks. One of them hits. It is AP four, so <laughs> Only a six can save it. Watch him get a six. What did I tell you? What did I tell These dwarves! The dwarves are immortal, damn it! <laughs> oh no, I killed a rat man. Earthquake killed my rat man. All your base are belong to us. That is... God damn it. Oh, he needed a six to hit anyway, so he wouldn't have hit. <laughs> but still! Oh... There we go. Well, there's a combat. They didn't win, so they moved back a, back a centimeter. And that is a spicy, spicy round of the game. Happy days. All right, it is round three. And the rat men have made a slight mistake. <laughs> so, surprise! <laughs> There is a miner who's ambushed these miners, man. They keep doing it. Now, it's within nine inches. Now, they can't seize or control objectives on the turn that they appear. But there he is. He appeared. <gasps> he appeared. I'll get some light down here. He appeared. And uh, he's going to spoil their day. So, <laughs> that happened. Uh, and the other miner appeared here. He is just within. The reason why they made that mistake... Get a light on this side. He, um, stay there. There we go. He is just within nine. See, look, if we go center to center, he is outside of nine of the enemy. So they cannot capture this turn, but da da, they have appeared. They are here. I don't know why my overhead light and window, like, look at this. We got, look at all that light coming from that window. That overhead light. This overhead light doing nothing. Is it because this is too bright, maybe? Is that the problem? Do I need to turn that down a bit? Oh. What is going on? Where is my... Oh, that's way brighter. That's not what we want. <laughs> Get some light that's not tragic. Doesn't like me. I can turn this one down. Let's turn that one down a bit. See, it doesn't help. Maybe if I turn that one up a bit. Crank it right up. 
Does that help? No, it makes it worse. <laughs> like, I'm getting just no light from anywhere. And this light's died. That light ran out of battery. Anyway. So, there you go. Long story short, battery operated lights for the win. And, uh, maybe not for the win, because they're not really doing much. And, um... That's too harsh. Anyway, you're not here to watch me fiddle around with lights. You're here to watch a game. Caster gets two points. And, um, this fray. Oi, what a schmozzle. Um, yeah. So it's an interesting round again. The, uh, the... Wait. What happened? Did we not activate someone? He shot. He shot. Maybe we did a double activation. The king went first. No, the rat went first. Attack the king. The king uh, cast his spell and attacked back. The, 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 those guys activated. This guy shot. I think, I think I made them shoot at the same time. Because they've got four. Is that right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if they went first, they should finish first. So somewhere I messed up. The rats are meant to be going first, uh, despite what's going on. They won't be going first. Well, they still will be going first now, I guess, because the the miners add an extra two. Whatever. Rats go first. Uh, what do they want to do? Let's see. I think we're going to start with these rats. Uh, are going to move in and attack this unit here. It's a bit hard because it's all clumped up, you see. Uh, but they are going to attack those guys. They are Storm Vermin. So they are worth a lot of points. They are worth 45 points, just in case you didn't know. So their rending better be good. What's rending do? Rending ignores regeneration, unmodified results of a 6, get AP 4. So they already had AP 4, but they have AP 4. Uh, AP, they would normally have AP 1. They have AP uh, 2. Is that right? Because they're within range of the Artificer. Yes. So they have AP 2. If they get a 6 on their hit, they have AP 6 to hit. They get AP 4. So here we go. Uh, let's see. So they need, uh, what did I say? 4 plus to hit. 4 plus. Only one hits. Can you believe this? These mice are not, like, it, it happens every time. Every time I want to, you know, the other team to win. <laughs> Anytime I have any opinion about the matter. <gasps> Uh, that sucks. Alright, AP2 for on, on this little dwarfy here. He's getting dogpiled. Uh, he has defense. Normally he'd have defense 5, but AP2 gives him a 6. So he needs 6s. That's not a 6. He is D.E.D. dead. Effective maneuvering from the rats. Yay. They move back a, back a little bit because the unit did not die. Oh, don't take the terrain with you. There should be a space there. Alright. I very foolishly have put his back to the, that guy. Alright, this guy, has, the dwarves have to focus, right? The dwarves need to claim an objective, and I think they need to thin out the herd up here to give this guy a chance. Um, so, this dwarf is going to shoot at the same guy again. Uh, he needs, we said he needs 4+. plus. That is not 4. Boom. Bang, bang! He shoots and misses. Now, I think in the interest of... Maneuvering. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I think he's just going to stay there. Oh, does he move? He's going to move four just around this corner here. Ah, uh, then he can't see the guys. He that, that Does that put him within enough to shoot these guys? Yeah, okay. So we want him to be ready to shoot those guys next turn, assuming that they're still around next turn there to do that. So that's the dwarf activation. The these guys activation. Mm, now this is the problem with group stuff. So if they weren't a group, I could split them up. Uh, do I trust these guys to handle those dwarves? They appear to be doing okay. So yeah, I think these guys are gonna move back. Oh, can I charge him? They can, because it was 9. So they are actually going to charge. Though they prefer to be charged. In this instance, they are going to charge up. And just really 
cause him a problem. Alright, there we go. So only two of them can reach, but that is okay. We will have the two of them do their job. Ugh, this lighting. I apologize for the lighting. I don't know what I can do. I bought lights. I positioned them in a way that should have given us light. I'd need one over here where I am, I think. I need like the old school flash. <laughs> They're going to attack him. They have clan rats. Clan rats have five plus attack. They have counter. That doesn't matter. Only two of them get to shoot. Uh, so here we go. They need five plus. Lee, watch them not be five plus. All right. The miner, on the other hand, he's going to swing back. He only needs four plus. He has AP one. And he only has one attack though. So four plus. Ugh, these dwarves. Are you kidding me? Alright, uh, the clan rats have a 5 plus defense, and of course they don't get it, so one of them dies. Bloop, 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 bloop. Alright, that's two wounds to the clan rats. Uh, that is unfortunate. And that is a clan rats activation. Uh, they get to move back. You, you get it, they're not in combat. You, you understand. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to do? The dwarves are concerned about this this here, right? Like they have to get one. What can the king do? What can the king do? He has spells. Target enemy unit takes two hits. Target enemy model with nine inches takes one hit with AP four. What is better? Okay, we're going to give these two guys... Uh, we're going to give these two guys... The king is going to cast his spell. He is going to cast the smiting rune. They're within six, right? Whoa. Yoosh. Well, technically the unit is within six, I guess. Even though all the minis aren't. He can move and cast. So we will do that. He's going to sort of flank and help protect his buddy. That also puts him in a position to be able to, um, you know, do something up here if needed. Uh, he's going to cast the, his spell for plus. Where'd the dice go? You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. These dice, oh my gosh. He, they take two hits. So their defense is... Uh, oh, the Storm Vermin... Which one are they? They are four plus defense. One of them saves and one of them dies. So we will we'll get rid of that guy. Uh, and that is... Look, they only saved because I used the red dice. <laughs> Put them up there. Uh, they only saved because I used the dwarf dice, see? <laughs> That's what happens. I use the dwarf dice, I win. Maybe the dice are loaded. I've got to stop using the red ones for the dwarves. Uh, so that's a dwarf activation. Now it is time for the second uh, rat activation. And uh, I think... It is the second one, right? Yes. Or is it the third? Did they... They killed him this turn, right? Yeah, so it's the third. The king... Rat King, Rat King, what are you gonna do? Get a bit better lit. That might help. Get lit! That's one way to deal with things, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, Rat King is gonna attack these guys. Try and kill them. Uh, oh, they have, have they attacked? Did they, act? I don't know, I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting confused. That's what happened, I'm getting old. I'm getting confused by my games. Oh, roll the dicey dice. Uh, AP four and whatnot. Uh, three attacks, quality four plus, ka-chow. <gasps> two hits. Abracadabra. Let's get, watch these dwarves roll two sixes now. Oh, close. Booyah, so... One is dead, now one has to roll. So he has one wound marker, uh, and he needs to get... So if it's six or more, he's dead. So five or more, he's dead. Two or more, he is just stunned. Let's give him a wound marker of some description. Let me 
find the dice. Whoops. Oh, bang, bang, bang. I'm bashing everything. All right, so he's got one wound marker. As opposed to, I should use a different color dice, but whatever. What have we not got? Yellow. There you go. Wound marker. Done. All right. Whew. So that's the king. He can move back. Oh, wait. The dwarf gets to attack back. I don't think he's attacked yet this round. Why would he not uh, swing at the king? Ciao. Mm, that's not a hit. So it's not a drama. Wouldn't be hit anyway. Regardless of whether he is healthy or not. Alright. Now. Rat, that's a rat turn. Dwarf turn. I think this guy has to... He doesn't have a choice. He has to venture down. He's going to spend his turn climbing down. It's impassable, but he can shoot across it. So, he is within range to shoot across. That's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot across. Can I get a nice angle? Please, can I get a nice angle? No. Can I get a nice lighting? <laughs> that, I think, is asking too much. <laughs> Maybe if I put it there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Look at that. There we go. He's going to shoot across there. We just can't see the dwarf on the top. Get a nice angle with the dwarf on top. Nah, I asked too much. I asked too much. <gasps> you don't care about the angles. Uh, you just care about the dice rolls. So he's going to shoot four plus. Pfft, everything's falling down. Never mind. I've got a clan rat all the way over here. It's all it's all a shamozzle. What am I doing? Oi. See it? Stay. Good clan rats. There we go. All right. <laughs> Far out. That's all going to get edited, I'm sure. All right. So, <laughs> apologies for when it isn't. <laughs> Four plus, baby. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, defense for the clan rats. Uh, oh, they're not clan rats. They are monks. They have a five plus defense as well. Lee. They save. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Very evil, as Danhausen says. So... Uh, clan rats, I guess. Uh, not clan rats, uh, mo plague monks. They are gonna... Can they charge him? Now, it depends. We, we say normally, you know, three up and... So three up would put them at nine. Yes, they can defend him. Alright, he's... Just in range. Ugh. Well, he shouldn't be in range because he's meant to be more than nine out, but... I'm happy to give them a little extra... All right, they are going to defend, mostly because fuck dwarves. Uh, excuse my language. So, no, it's Vietnamese. It means lucky. Lucky. We looked this up at school the other day. <laughs> All right, they are going to attack the miner. They have one attack each. It is AP1, uh, but it has poison. So, if it's a six... Uh... Oh, if, if they defend and it's a six, they have to reroll. So, uh, their attack is five plus... Not an attack. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, the miner, however, gets to hit back, which is not good news for us because he is much stronger than they are. Four plus to hit. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Finally. Some justice. Some justice in this world. Uh, <laughs> so that's him. <laughs> they move back. He activates and he's going to try and hit them on a six anyway. He does not hit. They're going to try and hit him back on a six, though, because what have they got to lose? No sixes. Nil point, as, as the Europeans who like Eurovision say. Uh, that's his activation. We are all activated, I'm pretty sure. All the rats have activated. So now all that's left is, um, is this miner to activate. And he's going to attack at the other guys. He has a six as well. No, it doesn't hit. This one guy's going to try and hit for a six. He does not hit for a six. And that is the end of turn three. All right, here on turn four, I'm saying that this one is contested. I think this guy is still far enough away that he's not contesting it. Oh, my God, the lighting is killing me. He's far enough away. Yeah, that's right. I'll just put the light right in front of the camera. There you go. Bloody idiot. <laughs> I need to get a better setup, guys. I apologize for these terrible videos. Oh my gosh. 
It was better when I was over on, like, in the middle. Like, I used to film on that table there. Maybe I need to go back to doing that. Uh, he... Get my light out of the friggin' way. He's too far away, is what I'm saying. So, they, that, that is still contested by the rats. The dwarves still hold this one. But this beautiful one here is now, I'm going to say, contested. I think that's fair. I know they have more more bodies on the floor. But they're 25 points. And the, oh, the mine is only 15 points. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. But uh, still, I think, you know, they're, 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 he's close enough to be saying, I am in control of this piece. So, that is a thing. The Dwarf King needs to get his spell points for this turn. This is the last turn. The final turn. If they do not seize it by this turn, uh, a, a wave of reinforcements for the rats will come and um, defend the rest of, of the city. Uh, and that will be that will be a thing. So, uh, let's, without further ado, the, the rats finish their turn first. So they have to start first, as is the way. Um, and, yes. <laughs> In conclusion, yes. Uh, that, is, that is what we have to do. I think... Let's start up here. They're going to just try and get rid of this miner straight up, right? We're sick of this guy. Screw him. Five plus to hit. Come on! Are you kidding me? Really? This is ridiculous. That's the same roll I rolled last time too, I think. He's going to swing back, though he has a four plus to hit this time. Of course he hits, because why would the team I want to win win? <laughs> Alright, they get to defend. They only have a... Uh, five plus defense. Oh, first time in history. The rats defend... That's their activation. While we're up here, he might as well do his, like, fight fight for death. He activates on a 6. He does not hit. They get to hit back on a 6. They do not get a 6. There you go. That is that is our, our turn up here. We're back to a rat. Rat activation, I think. We're, they're going to go heavy on the murdering the guy. Because even though this guy can give benefits... He is too far away from these guys. Like, it has to be at the start of the turn. So these guys get it. Oh, actually, is he within 12? Yes, he is. So those guys get the AP1 this turn. But these guys, they're, they're too far away. They can't do it. So they're going to they're gonna start. He's going to maneuver in. So they get a two-on-one again. These guys are just warriors. So similar to the monks, they have five plus, five plus. It's a five. Finally. Watch the dwarf roll like a six to block it. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a one. We got a wound. Holy heck, we got a wound, Batman. So, uh, now he, he's taken one wound. He If he rolls a five or a six, he's dead. <gasps> Justice. The dwarf is dead. Dwarfy dwarf, back on the shelf. There you go, buddy. All right, I just dropped... Another guy. Alright, so it looks like we're holding this one. This one is securely held. Though that is not the one that's in question. So, oi. Could it be a tie? That would be brutal. If it's a tie, maybe we'll play one more round. Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, that was a... Did I just do a double activation there as well? No. I did. That was their activation. So that means we're back to a dwarf. So... What do we got? We've got a miner, or we've got this wounded guy. Oh, if I was that wounded guy... Oh, and the king. Derp. Oh, we got another... This guy as well. Alright, so we've got quite a lot of options. Is he within enough to shoot them? He is, but there's cover in the way. Does he move... across to get... Oh, does it give him less cover? I don't know. We might have to go to the B camera on that. I think if he moves the four... He will still just be tipping the cover. In fact, it might even put him out of out of range. So he's going to shoot through cover. Yes. Give me a second. All right. Sorry. I just need to move my hand and not hold the camera in such an awkward way. All right. So he's got some cover on that unit. Uh, it gives him a minus one. It's going to be... Uh, so, oh, where is he? What's his? He's four plus normally, so he's five plus for this shot. Have I got somewhere to roll? Of course he gets a five. All right, uh, defense on the plague monks is five plus as well. He does not get a five, and he's dead. So they're picking him off. 
<gasps> They're picking him off. We got one. He goes back up on the shelf. <gasps> if I can reach it. There you go. Shelfie boy. <gasps> shelfie. Take a shelfie. If you're watching, take a shelfie of like uh, your miniature game shelf or miniature rules shelf. Show me what you got. Send it in. Uh, if you want to send it, send it to feedback at rj.net or chuck it on the Patreon. Uh, Patreon slash dot com slash RJ Rangers. You know, give it a go. Send me your shelfies. I want to see them. Or you can do it at Instagram. We've got Instagram, RJ's Games, or Facebook slash RJ Productions, I think. Maybe it's slash RJ's Games. I can't remember. But if you go to rj.net, it has links to all my stuff. And uh, send me your shelfies. I want to see what cool stuff you have on your shelves. Uh, mine is badly lit miniatures. Bad, mostly unpainted. <laughs> this is where I keep my garbage. There you go. Uh, but they, that's that's a dwarf turn. We're back to a... Let's get, these, let's get rid of this guy. Let's... Charge in. Let's do it. <gasps> Storm Vermin. Four plus. Pachow. One hits. It's got an AP two. Because it's normally AP one. And it's got AP one from, from the Rat King. Uh, his aura. Uh, so the dwarf normal warrior is five plus defense. Six. So he needs sixes. Oi. He is toast. But he was already toast. So he now has two. So he needs a four or more. And he's dead. D-E-D -E dead. And he goes on the dead shelf. Alright, there we go. And that's a rat turn. we got a king left. He has all his spells. Uh, who else do we have left? That's it, the king. Or in a marksman. Mm, I'm going to activate the marksman. Who's going to try and shoot... What's his best bet? He's going to shoot the, this king, because it's the last turn, right? He needs to... He needs to not miss, which is what he did. So it doesn't matter what he needs to do. I was going to say, he needs to whittle down some, some dudes, but I don't think it's possible now. Oh, that was a stupid mistake. He should have moved up there to shoot him. That is what he should have done. Would he have had the range? Let's just see for, for hypothetical sake. So he would have been there. He wouldn't have had the range to do that anyway. So that that is that. There you go. That is that is the answer to that question. Uh, rats. It's just the Rat King, baby. Uh, and he doesn't need to do anything. Really. Oh, yes, he does. He kind of needs to... We need to play out another turn. You know what? So that guy's shot there. I am going to move him up just because we're going to have to play another turn for a tie break. Uh, and he's going to he's gonna go up there um, just so he can shoot those other guys. Uh, and this Rat King, I guess, is going to chase him down. Because he doesn't want him to shoot those other guys. That makes perfect sense to me. So, uh, whoop, numbers. That's a 5, it's a 6, it's a 2. 2 hits. AP 4. Like, oh my god. AP 4. He needs 6s. Whoops. Of course he gets a 6. But it doesn't matter because he got 1 uh, wound. Which means it's 1. If he rolls a five or a six, he's dead. It's so five, he's dead, baby. Rat King did his job. His J-O-B job. Back on the shelf for you. And there we go. Uh, that's the rat's turn. The dwarves still have the king to activate. Mm. Yeah, because they've lost a lot of dudes who didn't activate. So, what's the king going to do? The king has a spell... What's the range on that spell? 6 or 12? Oi. So he needs to get much, much closer to mess up that guy up there. Next turn. Okay, so if, I, if you're the king, what do you do here? Tell me. Round 4, everything to play for. You need this one point. What do you do to win it? Your best bet is to get these guys up here. He needs to get deal with that guy. He doesn't really have a choice. Does he cast a spell on himself to give himself 12? If he gives himself 12, that puts him there. Does that put him within 12 for next time? Or not quite, but he can move and cast a spell. 
Okay, he's going to try and cast this spell. That's what I'm going to do. You tell me what you would do. I'd love to know what you would do in this situation. Turn four, you have to kill this plague monk. How do you do it with your with your dwarfs that you've got? You've got a king, you've got a marksman. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> Not be crap at it like I was in the first place. He needs a four plus. He gets it, baby. He's going to move his full six. His full 12, I should say. Over here. So that he can... Yeah. But he can get... Is he within 12? He's not within 12 this turn, but he can be next time he casts a spell. So that's his best bet, I think. And that ends this turn, which technically ends the game, but we don't like ties on the RJ channel, so we're going to play one more turn. Uh, as the as the rats come charging in off this side of the table, the horde of rats, can the dwarves pull it off? Let's see. Turn five. Now, the rats activated first. Where is the five on a D8? There it is, next to the eight. The rats activated first. So, the rats go first. And the plague monk is going to... Ooh, hang on. Does the king try and charge down the king? He can't kill the king in this turn. They don't have enough speed to get there. Oh, do they? No, they don't, because you can't go directly across. You have to run around. So, Oh, but, hang on. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, they're not going to be quite fast enough. That's a problem. They're not within three if they get there. Right, let's do that. They're going to charge up and try and... Um, I'm going to put my phone down to measure this. Hang on. All right, so three, they get nine. Oh, so he gets there. And he gets to the base of the wall. Doesn't get to climb it. But... <laughs> All right. Well, technically, he can go there, I guess, because that's a bit closer. But are they within three of the center? You be the judge. <gasps> the center to center. Oh, my gosh, they're just in. The rats take the victory. <laughs> There's no way. The rats will take the victory. That becomes a two. Uh, well, wait, wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> you wish, dwarves. Screw you. Uh, that becomes a two, and that becomes a zero. For now, let's see if the dwarf can take it back. It doesn't matter, but we'll see. The dwarf miner, four plus, he doesn't hit. Uh, the plague monk does hit with a six. The dwarf defender saves, uh, but there you go. And that's that's basically the turn, right? There's not. Uh, I guess the dwarf king gets another go, but before that would happen, do we play the whole turn out? Let's play the whole turn out. Alright, if they go down, they're three, that gives them nine. The rats, oops, sorry, I might focus on what we're actually doing here. Yeah, okay, well these rats will charge this king. I don't think they can, um, I don't think they can kill him, but they'll have a crack at it. No, nah, they miss. The king is going to try and hit back, he does hit back. Actually, he should get three attacks, he hits back twice. He hit back three times, uh, and they will uh, save two out of those three, but one of them will die. That is fair. He should be on the shelf, not there, but what are we doing? Whatever. <sighs> That's a rat turn. Then the king can have his turn. He gets his two dice back. He's going to move. He'll move his... Four. Not that it matters, right? Like, they need two to win. They can't get two. It's not possible. He will spend his turn to cast the spell. Mm. Is it within nine? Yeah, nine inches. Or, yeah. Uh, he will cast his spell. He needs four plus. That's four plus, baby. All right, AP four. So the rat needs a six. Oh. I threw my dice down here. Uh, here we go. 
It's not a six, this guy's dead. So that guy gets the... He, the dwarf gets a one. <laughs> so it's a minor victory. No, minor defeat for the dwarves. Minor victory, not a decisive victory. But there we go, I think that's pretty good. Do we want to see if the, this guy can shoot the leader? Let's see, can he shoot? Oh, he could shoot the rat that's in range. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute, because that won't tick over until the end of turn. This marksman is going to try and shoot this rat. For plus. No, nah, he misses. The rats win. Yay, finally, someone other than dwarves won. Everybody cheer. Woo. That, that can be a dwarf head on that guy's face. Can we zoom in? Dwarf head. Yeah. Woo. There we go. Badly lit. Room for the win. I don't know. What is going on today? Now it's not even dark outside. Like, it's not even bright outside anymore. It's all dark and cloudy. That's the game. Whoa. There you go. That was more fun than Quest, right? And it had a better narrative. <laughs> like, <laughs> Quest was so garbage. Like, oh my god. Uh, you know, I feel this had way better, like, roleplay potential than Quest had. Uh, hopefully you see that Quest video. I apologize if it's garbage. I don't know if it was just because... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We might give it another go later, but I just felt very underpowered in Quest. But in this game, like, this game was close all the way through. There were options. You know, everything happened. I apologize for the terrible camera. I apologize for the terrible lighting. I gotta work on this. I gotta work on it better. What am I gonna do? Uh, but there you go. The rats won, so now we got a new carryover champion. What are the rats going to fight next? I might have to paint some miniatures. Oh, paint the minis. Ugh. We, uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to stray from skirmish for a bit. We might go to the 10 millimeter guys next. So if you have um, any preference as to whether you want regiments or... Old World, let me know, because I'm on school holidays, so I'm making as many videos as I can. So the quicker you let me know, the quicker we can have which videos are going to be made. Uh, that would be very helpful. I might even put a poll up, uh, which I will do very shortly. Uh, that's what we're going to do. So uh, I have some other games I want to play in the meantime. I'm going to play some we've got. I don't know if you can see Ooh, in there. We've got full thrust in there, with including some Star Trek Romulans. That'll be fun. Um, I've got Nuts Bug Hunt. I had the rules here somewhere. I don't know where I put them. Uh, which we're going to play. That's going to be fun. Like I said, I've got the 10mm stuff. Look at this tower. i got this tower. Look at that. Isn't that spooky? Look at that. Let's just give him in all his... Yeah, let me film it from the side that's not lit, you idiot. There you go. Look how good that looks. Looks so evil. Look, this plague monk looks like he lives there. Look, it's my tower. This is where I live. In my little hut. <laughs> so... I'm looking forward to using some of that terrain that I've printed off. And I've got all of these, all of these 10 mil. I've got so many 10 mil armies. Um, they're all from Proxy Wargame, Proxy Miniatures Australia, I think. Proxy Wargames Australia. I'll put it in the, I'll, re, I'll, I'll put the link in the whatever, you know what I mean? I'll like bloop on the screen. Uh, he is amazing. He is one of the best guys. I assume it's a he. I don't know. I just assumed his gender. I apologize. Uh, Proxy Wargame Minis, whatever it is, they are... Yes, A+, plus, 100%. I give them a full review. Uh, please go and purchase from them. They're actually local to where I used to live, where I grew up in Ingleburn, uh, sort of that region. Uh, they, I've never had bad customer service. I have never had any bad printing from that guy, girl, whoever, I don't know. Go go and buy from them. They're really good. I, I thoroughly... Not sponsored. I This is a personal recommendation, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, there we go. We might try and film outside next time so it's a bit better lit. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Ciao for now.